Welcome back. Um, so welcome to our final video in the Atoms and Primitive series. Um, so in this video, we're going to touch uh, very briefly on variables and assignment. Um, you're probably already familiar with the use of variables in programming um, if you've made it this far, but um, just in case you're not, basically what they allow us to do is store intermediate results. Um, and it's really useful to avoid us having to repeat our code over and over again. We can save it along the way and then and then use those variables um, later on. So well, how do we do that in Q? We use the colon operator. So you can see here, um, a, I'm assigning that to be the value 25. So if I run that, I'm not sure what's happened there, but if I want to examine that, I can see now if I just run the word A or type the word A or the letter A on its own, I get 25 output. Um, I could also have just stuck the keyword show in front here. So that's another keyword that's really handy, um, especially when you're using Jupyter Notebooks, actually. Um, it means you don't have to, you know, retype A down here. Um, this would be the same thing as just doing this. Um, so whichever you prefer. Um, so yeah, what are we saying? Um, the right hand side um, is assigned to the left hand side. Um, uh, so now we've defined A, we can use that in arithmetic expressions. Um, so for example, we can add things to A. So 10 plus A will be 25, 35 most likely. Um, yep, so now we've got this new variable called B, which is 35. Um, so in this one here, um, we are showing that um, the show keyword as well, basically. So we're just saying we don't have to separate um, the naming of the variable and then showing it in two separate ones. So this is basically just printing it out for the user, um, which I already demoed above. Um, and just what we're doing here is redefining A. Um, so I've made it 12, I've made it a string G, and now I'm making it 4.5. And if we go back and check A and B, you'll see 4.5 because that was the last result we assigned to A. Um, so A is now 4.5, but you see B remains unchanged. So B is still its original result. Um, so that's fairly straightforward. Um, so I've got a quick exercise here. It's just getting you to get get used to using variables and um, assigning assigning values to them. We've got a nice nugget of knowledge. Six point eight hours of sleep Americans get each night. Oh dear. <laughs> um, so we want you to serve this save save this variable average sleep there. And um, we'll use that later on. I think in the next exercise. Okay, so next we are looking at using variables in arithmetic operations in a little bit more detail. So, um, for example, here we've got this expression. So we're doing we're calculating pi, which is um, twenty two divided by seven, and then we're assigning um, the keyword or the, the word pi to that. Um, the same with radius, we're assigning that to be five, and then we're going to do a calculation, and we're going to call that area. So we're saying get pi multiplied by radius multiply by radius. Actually, we're going this way. So it's radius by radius by pi, um, which is a squaring radius. Um, so we can do it like this and that's fine. We'll get our area. Um, but just to note, you don't actually have to split your assignment and your execution onto multiple lines. You could just do it like this. So I've put in, passing my five in here um, and then I'm assigning um, that will become radius and so this, this bit here is saying assign five to be radius, and then it's actually using that in the same expression um, to calculate the area. Um, so whichever you find more readable, again, there's no performance implications here. It's just user preference on, on um, how succinct or how um, readable you want your code to be. Um, cool. So I've got another wee exercise. I mentioned that average sleep variable. Now we're, that's when we're gonna use it next. Um, we're just getting you to do some uh, um, ar arithmetic operations on your variables and we're just really getting used to using them. Um, so get you to do some multiplication um, and then checking how many hours are missed in a year by not getting eight hours sleep a night and then how many days does that missed time correspond to. So have a go with that. Now for the final section of this video, we're going to be looking really quickly at um, projecting functions and assignment. Um, we'll be looking at this projection in a lot more detail in our separate functions module, which will be um, a separate module altogether. And we look at this in a lot more detail. But for now, we just look at it um, in relation to assignment to give you a, a quick intro into it. Um, so we're defining a function called add two, and we're saying that's going to be the value two. And then we're putting the, the plus operator here, but we haven't actually passed it a second um, 
input. So if we define this first of all, um, uh, and then we run it, if we run it without anything, we see we just get um, the variable return. But you see what's returned is the functional notation of the variable. So we talked about this before, we've got the function at the front or the operator and then the square bracket. So if I pass it something like four, it's actually gonna do that addition for me. Um, so that's what's called a projection. You're not actually defining the second input. Um, when you call the function itself, that's when it will be um, defined. And then you can see here, I can pass more than one parameter. So this is adding four to two, and then this is adding 10 to two. Um, so I can, I can do, I can pass lists as well to my projections. Um, so this is, um, this is a projection and we also have functional um, notation of a projection. So you can see we're doing the plus and then we've got two in the second parameters undefined. And then this is the one we've seen, the last one that was output. Um, so all of these three things are equivalent. Um, so don't worry too much about that now, um, but just it's good to be aware of um, that will be covered in more detail in our separate module on functions. So finally, um, we've got a wee exercise here, just one last keyword for, for the series, um, moving some and um, got a straightforward enough exercise here. So try that. Um, and then once you're done with that, um, we actually have some exercises. So if we go back up a level, um, you can just remove the end of your address here to go back up to this Adams folder. You'll see we've got some exercises here. Um, so to test your knowledge and to test everything we've learned in these modules, um, go ahead, work through all these exercises. Um, you have again your solution button to test your knowledge um, and you'll be able to see how you're getting on as you go through there. Um, so hope you've enjoyed this module um, and hopefully I'll see you in one of our other modules very soon.